Hi, my name is Will and I am the business development manager for Airtype Products. Airtype Products is an American owned and operated small business located in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia. We globally source hypodermic supplies from more than eight different countries and collect them into a single source for your convenience. If you have a syringe or needle need, we really are a great first stop simply due to the number of options we can provide. For most products, we also have samples available and can ship them to you or to your customer at no charge. Syringes with or without needles are used for a wide variety of purposes. This image shows our most popular offering, the one milliliter two-part syringe. We will cover what exactly a two-part syringe is in a few slides. For now, know that syringes are used in human drug delivery, laboratory research, industrial applications, even NASA uses our syringes, environmental sampling, animal health, and many more applications. To understand how syringes can impact your business, it is important to understand the terminology used to describe syringes. In general, syringes have three parts. The first is the plunger, which is also called a piston. The plunger moves freely in the syringe and creates the vacuum to pull the liquid into the syringe. Plungers in disposable syringes can be either all plastic or have a rubber tip. We will discuss these differences shortly. The part of the syringe within which the plunger moves is called a barrel. The barrel on common syringes is typically graduated, which means it's marked with accurate volumes for measurement. Syringe barrels can range from microliters in specialty syringes to very large glass syringes holding 250 milliliters or more. While most barrels are transparent to allow the user to see the liquid, there are some applications which will require an opaque or not transparent barrel to prevent the user from seeing the material. This is sometimes requested for light sensitive applications or clinical trials. The volume of this syringe is typically regulated by ISO, ISO, the International Organization for Standardization. Some syringes have graduations that extend beyond the ISO standard for that particular size. This is important to remember as some people may refer to either measurement. In this example, the syringe may be referred to as a 10 milliliter or as a 12 milliliter. Both are actually accurate descriptions of the syringe, but the volume standard per ISO is the 10 milliliter mark. The third and final key component of a syringe is the tip. Tips generally can be lure lock, lure slip, oral dose, or catheter tip. We're going to cover syringe tips shortly, but know that lure tips, lure lock and lure slip, except a standard hypodermic needle and may be used for injections. As such, many hypodermic syringes are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. While there are many different tip types available, the most common are lure lock, lure slip, catheter, and oral, which is not pictured. Lure lock and lure slip tips are the only types that accept a hypodermic needle. The lure lock tip engages the hub of the needle with a threaded locking mechanism. This is ideal for applications which produce a higher amount of pressure or to provide an additional level of security to the user. Lure slip tips can be located either in the center of the syringe, which is known as centric, or off to one side of the syringe, which is called eccentric. Eccentric type lure slip syringes are popular for certain applications which require tubing attached to the syringe. Catheter tip syringes are the largest of these options on a common style tip design. They're used primarily for irrigation and similar applications. Oral dose syringes, which again are not included in this image, they look very similar to the lure slip tip but they're oversized, they're thicker, they're wider, in order to prevent a needle from being attached. Oral dose syringes are commonly seen with oral medication, especially for pediatric or animal medicine. 
Syringes can be made of many different materials. Metal and glass are materials for reusable syringes, but the more common syringes are plastic disposables for single use. Disposable syringes allow the user to worry less about cross-contamination, which is particularly important when dealing with toxic or infectious materials. The majority of single-use disposable syringes are made of polypropylene, a plastic. Airtight Products is one of the leading suppliers of two-part syringes in North America. Two-part syringes are slightly different than the commonly seen disposable syringes, which look like this. Two-part syringes do not use a rubber tip on the plunger to create a vacuum seal. Instead, these two-part syringes, which are imported from Germany, have been specifically designed to not introduce additional materials such as rubber or even silicone oil. Anytime you see rubber present on a syringe, that syringe requires a lubricant to prevent the rubber from grabbing the sides as it slides up and down the barrel. Imagine your sneaker on a gym room floor. Instead, these two-part syringes which are known as normject or hinkyject, utilize a precisely engineered, slightly oversized plunger head, which expands the barrel to create the vacuum. These particular two-part syringes are made of a polypropylene barrel and a polyethylene plunger. The design allows for a smooth gliding plunger, which maintains the vacuum pressure without the rubber gasket. These syringes are useful for applications which may be sensitive to either rubber or silicone oil. Common applications include chromatography, ophthalmics, industrial solvents, glues, paints, and many various laboratory applications. Each of these syringes have what's called a positive backstop. Basically, if you pull the plunger all the way back as far as it can go, it can separate from the syringe, but it has a bit of a uh, a bit of a locking mechanism to prevent it from coming out easily and this helps to prevent accidental spills. Airtight offers these syringes in both a lure lock and a lure slip from the 2 milliliter up to 60 milliliter. There's also a 1 milliliter version available in lure slip only and that ironically is our single most popular syringe offering. These syringes are available in sterile in small unsterile, what we call laboratory packs, and even large bulk unsterile cases, up to 7,000 syringes in a, in a large unsterile bag. The sterile versions are registered with the Food and Drug Administration as a class two medical device appropriate for human use. Three-part syringes are the most common type of disposable syringe. Typically, when someone asks for a disposable syringe, this is the type of syringe that they're requesting. Alternative names could be regular syringe, conventional, standard, or sometimes they'll just refer to a competitive brand and state something like, ah, uh, something like X brand. These syringes are popular for their smooth gliding motion, low cost and a wide variety of functions. The rubber gasket on the tip plunger acts as a sealant against the barrel and creates a vacuum for drawing material into the syringe. If you've ever slid rubber against a solid material, again back to the sneaker on the gym floor, then you've noticed that rubber tends to be a little sticky. So to prevent sticking and provide a smooth gliding motion, Standard three-part syringes use a lubricant, most often silicone oil, which is sprayed into the barrel during the final assembly stages of manufacturing. While two-part syringes discussed previously offer distinct advantages for some applications, standard three-part syringes are used for a much wider range of applications. Airtight carries several lines of this type of syringe. And if you're seeking a standard general purpose syringe, we have plenty of options for you. Glass syringes are less common and they're typically used for very specific applications. Oftentimes, 
uh, for applications where the solvent would interact with polypropylene or a similar plastic material. These syringes have an interesting characteristic with regards to the plungers. The plungers can be either interchangeable or matched. Matched glass plungers have a single plunger, which is machine ground specifically to fit a single barrel. Each component is then numbered and sold in what's called a matched set. When matched, these syringes offer the user a better seal. A common application for matched syringes is dissolved gas analysis, which deals with transformer oil testing. The more commonly requested type of glass syringe is the interchangeable version. These have a higher tolerance to allow for some flexibility. The advantage of interchangeable syringes is that for any given manufacturer, the barrels of the syringes of the same size can be used with the plungers of syringes of the same size from the same manufacturer. So as an example, someone may order 20 interchangeable 10 milliliter glass syringes. When the 20 syringes are used, all of the syringes can be disassembled, washed, reassembled without paying attention to which plunger arrived with which barrel. Airtight actually carries three different lines of glass syringes. These syringes are available with uh, either a nickel coated brass lure lock or with a glass lure slip. Glass syringes are the purest and least reactive syringes Airtight offers. Disposable syringes typically arrive sterile, individually wrapped in boxes of 100 for smaller sizes or 25 to 50 for the larger sizes. Needles are most commonly packaged in sterile blister packs and 100 per box. So imagine if you're in a lab. If the lab or practice is particularly busy, each time they will need to open the box of syringes, select a syringe, open the syringe out of the blister packaging into a clean or sterile field, and then repeat the entire process with each and every needle. So you can imagine that this process is somewhat time consuming for the practitioner, practitioner or technician. Most commonly, they use the same size syringe and the same size needle for repeated applications. The fact that some syringes can arrive with a pre-attached needle is an over, often overlooked advantage. If you are seeking syringes and needles, check to see if they're available as a combination. These syringes are available in a wide variety of combinations in both lure slip and lure lock for human use, laboratory, and veterinary. You may at some point hear the term dead space. This term refers to the amount of material which remains behind after the plunger is fully depressed on the syringe. As seen in this image, the plunger reaches the bottom of the barrel but does not extend into the tip of the syringe. Conversely, some syringes, typically smaller syringes like the one milliliter, may offer what's called a low dead space plunger, where the plunger tip actually extends into the tip of the syringe. As you can see here, when you compare the two, this significantly reduces the amount of space in the tip of the syringe. This leaves less room for the material to remain in the syringe. So a low dead space fixture is extremely important in fine volume applications where the syringe is used to transfer valuable material. While the previously mentioned disposable syringes offer a low dead space option in the one milliliter version, certain types of syringes offer even more savings of material. Fixed needle syringes, like insulin and tuberculin syringes, which is not to be confused with syringes that simply use those markings as scales, rather than milliliter, they might have tuberculin markings. As you can see in this image, the fixed needle syringe on the far right has almost no material remaining in the syringe once the plunger is fully depressed. These types of syringes are only offered in limited configuration and with specific finer tip needles. 
The first needle designed to pierce the skin was developed in 1853. While the early needles were developed to deliver morphine and would draw blood, needles have essentially stayed the same conceptually. Where needles have advanced is mostly with regards to the diameter, which is referred to as the gauge, and the tip design and sharpness. The smaller the number gauge, the larger the needle diameter. So as you can see here, 15 gauge has a larger diameter than a 20 gauge with a smaller diameter. More recently, we've seen the advent of micro needles by highly specialized manufacturers. These are very fine, very small needles made as small as 34 gauge, which is only slightly thicker than a human hair. Needles have three essential components. The hub is the part of the needle that allows it to attach to a syringe or another device. The hub material is important, and for the hubs of hypodermic needles, they are also highly regulated by those ISO standards that we talked about earlier, so that these needles will fit any standard lure syringe. The shaft of the needle is also called a cannula. It's the hollow cylinder that allows the fluid to pass through the length of the needle. Most hypodermic needle cannulas are made from 304 surgical stainless steel. The metal was rolled and stretched and rolled and stretched repeatedly until the desired diameter is achieved using highly specialized equipment. While all three components of the needle are important, the tip is arguably the most important for specific applications. There are a wide variety of tip types depending on the use of the needle, but the most commonly used are referred to as a standard bevel and a tri-bevel. Airtight Products offers a huge selection of needles, both sharp and blunt tip, in sterile and in bulk unsterile. If you need a unique solution, talk with us about a potential custom project. Airtight Products is proud to be your partner. We pride ourselves on service, responsiveness, variety, and low prices. Our collection of manufacturing partners allows a wide variety of off-the-shelf solutions, but also allows for potential custom options. When you contact Airtype products by phone during our office hours, an actual person answers. We have samples available for almost all of our products to allow you to try before you buy. Airtype offers a full money-back guarantee for anything unopened and in sellable condition, we truly are here to help. Make us your first call anytime you hear syringes or needles. We give you options, we guide you through the process, and answer any questions you may have along the way. Contact us today to see how we can help.